Mr. Wong, how do you feel? How does ISD feel now that you've tipped off Malaysians to help in Mas Lamet's arrest? Well, I'm glad that he is now arrested. Uh, we were informed of the arrest soon after his arrest of, by the Malaysians on the 1st of April. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also reported that to the Prime Minister. As I've said before, that uh, so long as we can find some leads on him, uh, sometime or other, we will find him. He was uh, arrested by the Indonesians in January 2003, writing from the leads developed by ISD and shared with the Indonesians. And then uh, he was released uh, prematurely after serving his sentence in prison for an immigration offence. And uh, again, from ISD's leads, uh, they shared that with the Indonesians who eventually arrested him and finally brought back to Singapore. How do ISD officers involved feel now and yourself now that he has been arrested? Well, of course, we're happy that uh, he has been arrested. Uh, ISD officers worked very hard even after the setback last year, which was a painful lesson for all of them. Uh, they did not give up and uh, they continue to work their leads and they look at every lead possible that is provided. And for this particular one, they developed this lead on their own and uh, eventually they shared that lead, which they think is the most credible one with the Malaysians. And the Malaysians uh, worked hard on that and eventually found where Masalamat was and arrested him. And on this, I must say that uh, the uh, excellent work done by the Malaysian Special Branch is really highly commendable. Uh, between ISD and MSB, uh, there's a long-standing cooperative, cordial relationship. And as a result of this kind of relationship, uh, we were able to keep each of our countries safe and also contributing to the safety and security of the region. And the same cooperative relationship that Singapore has with all our partners in the region. When do you expect the Malaysians to release him so they can be brought back to Singapore? The Malaysians want to continue to uh, interview him and we will let them do their job. And when they feel that uh, it's time to send him back to us, uh, we'll be uh, happy to receive him back. Earlier you said that you've informed the Prime Minister when he was first arrested. What did the Prime Minister say at the point? What the Prime Minister says, well, it's good. Uh, we finally got him. How about the security situation now? What message would you like to give to Singaporeans about whether or not you can step up or you know, step down in security? No, I think Singaporeans must not think that just because Master Lama is arrested and now in Malaysia, uh, the threat of security, the threat of terrorism will not be there anymore. In fact, I've said it for years that the threat of terrorism is real and that we are a prime target and therefore there's no question about letting our guard down. We must continue to be vigilant and continue to implement the security measures we have put in place. Singapore is a small country, it has a long coastline, it is porous and uh, it's easy for people and for goods to be brought in and or even to leave Singapore. So we must not assume that just by the arrest of one person, Singapore will be safe from terrorist threat. No. Apart from Mas Salamat, there are other GI members who are still out there and we haven't got them. And there could be many others that we do not know. And we don't know where they are, who they are and uh, when they will come to Singapore. So we must not believe that with the rest of Mas Salamat, we can let our guard down. Could you tell us how he escaped from Singapore at this point, what do you know? From the very brief information that was provided, uh, he swam across the Straits of Johor with an improvised flotation device. That is a very brief information. We don't know all the details. And until he's brought back to Singapore and ISD interviewed him, uh, we don't have much information on that. How is the morale now of ISD officers and the home team? Well, of course, uh, we are always uh, very happy that uh, one chapter is closed, but we have learned our lesson and we will continue to do our work. And when he's brought back to Singapore, where will Master Lama be detained? Will he, will he be, is he still under ISD? He will be detained in the Willie Road Detention Centre. Today's Willie Road Detention Centre is very different from the one on 27th of February 2008. 
many security measures have been put in place and uh, that is the place we're going to put in. Thank you very much, Mr. Wong. Thank you.